Did you know that me and Bug can't destroy marshmallows? Why can it not? Because it's marshmallow, old man. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host, Jake. Today we are joined by Bragg. Hello. And Ben from Northern TCG. Hello. How was that week in Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's start with you, Bragg. Been building Sky Striker all week. Ah, uh, it hit me when we talked the bit ba- whack. I didn't talk about it enough when we did the ban list discussion. But that delicious hit. Oh my god. Like Yeah, it's kind of a little rough. Yeah. There's just there's a lot to unpack, so I'm like, back to Striker. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, at locals today, one last hurrah. Got a few, um, got a few noirs off, so it was good to finally be able to play noir at a locals and not have it be cut off by everything. Then again, Gold Pride did cut it off in my first round. Gold Pride. Gold Pride. Woo! Um, yeah, otherwise, just looking to piece that together, figure out what the play is. I've just realised that new Link monsters are way further away than I thought. I thought it was going to be Jules Nexus. No. It's a promo. We won't see it for three years. What thing, monster? The new Sky Striker one. Oh yeah, you're not getting that for a long time. No. We'll get it eventually. It's a Sky Striker card. They're, Actually, they're... if they bring it engaged to two, there's potential that they bring it in sooner, just to like keep What's... the hype going. Yeah, I just thought it was all a part of the thing. I'm like, oh, they're bringing engaged back, getting the hype up, and then it'll be in Julius Nexus. This is like by the book, but no, no clue. Damn. I mean, they could. They very much could. Imagine, I they, beg, oh, imagine, Mr. imagine they bring it in only as a quarter century rare. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> you almost cop. That's a very good card. It's a very good card. Uh, otherwise, yeah, just kind of master duel. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I've switched to striker on master duel as well. Actually, well, no. He's embraced. I'm only in the early, only in the early ranks. If I were to, if I'm, if I get to a higher rank before, when does the ban list come in? Tomorrow. So I'll just stick oh, sorry. with that. Oh, sorry, no, hang on, that's the normal ban list. Ah, uh, the 8th when the new pack releases. Gotcha. Because, yeah, that's the that's got the terraforming hit, yeah? Yes. Because I, I, look, I, I looked and went, oh, terraforming's still here. I was about to dust this. Oh, I thought we had that ban list. Okay, well, I guess I've got to play just, it. Just wait, it gets dusted. Yeah. yeah. you got to get your bonus crafting points. Yeah, they're now also going to ban Rota because it's also a generic searcher. Yeah. That also searches a Terraforming's card. Yeah. It does. It does. Span that as well. Yeah. It's, it's um... Why, how do you pick and choose, Mr. Master Jewel? <laughs> Mr. Master Jewel goes, does this search the deck that I want to keep legal? Yes. Ban that instead. What a... It's a... Yeah, tears are definitely a weird spot on that. Mm. It's like... We're losing so many cards just to keep tear alive, and it's only been a month. Yeah. Like... Which is okay, I guess. Like, if it's a main deck, you want to keep it around, but at the same time, banning terraforming. <sighs> if if you're in a place of banning terraforming, maybe you've been printing batshit field spells for too fucking long. There is that. <laughs> what about terraforming at three? <laughs> Searching your union hanger? Then they were like, two. I searched Cosmo Town because it's kind of okay. Yeah. I miss no. having that at three. Yeah, now everything's just cards you miss at three. Terraforming, hmm. field spells. Decks just Bad. felt so much better when you had three terraforming. Maybe a general of only one field spell per deck. You go back to the rules of one field spell at a time. Other player plays one, other one goes away. It, they have to clarify stuff with that though, because like then it was like destroying cards. It was just it should send by game mechanic. It does. It should, rather. Yeah, it's... That should send by game mechanic, because it's the same as, like, if you have five monsters and, like, one of... Like, a gam... Uh, what's it called? Omega returns. Mm. It just... It goes to pin. Yeah. Yeah. Should be in the middle of the field. <laughs> <laughs> that way the players that play in the middle of the field... Uh, have a... Play Earth. Well, it makes sense, because, like, it's, it's the field, but then, like, if it's also generating a huge amount of advantage... Yeah, I don't know. I'm... I've got nothing except field spells are getting kind of silly. A little bit. And breaking on hand traps. Field spells have been silly since oh, Union Hanger. Yeah, yeah. And that was six years ago? Seven years ago? Was that pre-diagram? Yeah. Yes. It was end you of know, 2016. I've never really thought about what came first. 
and there we are. It's you didn't hang It's out. not really a chicken or egg situation. It's kind of like one was yeah, one definitively. <laughs> what came first? There's, there's no debating there. There's a fact. <laughs> but no. my brain, it forgot. It forgot. There's so many years nowadays. There's just been too many years, and I was thinking that as well. Where I used to like you know, used to know every deck in the format, and now just there's so many. Where it's like, oh crap. Uh, sure, I got to learn dry shot now. Yeah. Well, I probably don't. I don't think he's playing it anymore. We'll Luke. find out. Yeah. He was playing it today. Yeah, no, but when I was like, yeah, do I have to learn this? Should I, I read? He was playing it today. I was like, I don't want to have to learn this. <laughs> I've but gotten so I didn't want to verse him because it. our mirror match would have been disgusting. Um, but, yeah, assuming you're done, mm. Ben. What happened? I continued to play Dragon Maids on Tuesday. It went worse than it did on Sunday, but I can't remember why. Ah, uh, yes, because I played against Cash Dira, mm. and I got shifted, and then I lost. Um, should never have gotten as far as I did, I think, but yeah, I got shifted, played for a little bit, eventually lost. Mm. Um, what else happened? I feel like I played, uh, I played against a trap deck as well, and I'm just not playing spawn trap removal, ah. because I pretty much just went... I don't want to have to focus on massively building a side deck for this deck, which is to take my super heavy samurai one and put it in there. <laughs> so I have no mass removal spells and trap cards. I was just like, if I play against a back row deck, I just lose. And I played against two. So it didn't and go well. Lost. Didn't go well at all. Hmm. Um, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, what happened today? Uh, today I played the Yusei deck. Just yes, yeah, you did. Be your anime Yusei. Uh, it didn't go that badly. I resolved some combos. Every time I got hit with like a blowout card, just scooped. I was just like, nope, I'm good. Uh, in like my second round, I'm playing against Cyber Dragons. And he's like, you can go first. I'm like, no problem. Go full, full combo. Like, absolutely open the nuts. And he's like, enter battle phase? And I'm no. Like, don't play any gate. I just don't have any gate. And then, yeah, I lost to the evenly. Can't um, style out road evenly. No, you can't style out road evenly, which was sad. So anyway, I uh, that was still fun. It was still fun to play that deck today. Yeah. And I'll probably play Sunday Funday decks more often, because I know I don't this format have like a core deck that I want to be playing week in week out. Um, well, that may change leading up to Oceanics, being that it is a month away. I don't really care about Oceanics. I don't know if I'm just gonna go there to have complete fun. I might just play something weird and just be like yeah let's go it's we're in a weird format where i don't want to play a deck that's kind of hit a little so like i don't want to play cash because it's kind of hit a little i don't want to play pearly because it's kind of hit a little i don't want to play super heavy samurai because it's kind of hit a little it's very much a case of every deck that i wanted to play has been hit a little and i'm like this doesn't feel the same he just doesn't want to um he just doesn't want to win oceanics because he's got too much he's too busy now at that time of, i'm already yeah. going to worlds i don't need my invite no <laughs> <laughs> i don't need to be invited yeah i'm just gonna show up because like if you get the qualification then you gotta do all their stuff yeah and you yeah, 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 yeah it's a whole yeah that complicates things yeah i gotta go do press tools and... yeah and i guess oh, like I... a load of team samurai i hope we get to that point like, if we just keep grinding along with the game, and just like, yeah. Like, darts can get bloody popular. Why can't you go? We do press oh, tours yeah. and like... We, me and Bragg have been watching darts all weekend. It's really good. If only you was like that. I'm just very suggestible for sports. <laughs> yes. Clearly. It great. Darts is le le legitimately very fun to watch. Very fun. There's a little bit of math, it's cute. Yeah, once we figured out the math side of things, we were getting really involved. You're like, oh, you got a one. Time. What an idiot. What an idiot. I wouldn't want yeah. to get a one there. Like when they were aiming, because they had to get a double to win. And like, when they'd like aim and then they'd miss. Or they'd aim for the double, miss, and then miss inside. So now the number's different, so now they're going to aim somewhere else. far too much about darts. Do you have anything else you hear related to speak of um, in your week? I did that uh, Master Duel. Yes, I will get into that yeah, shortly. We'll talk about that when we talk about that. Yes. Then. Um, that's it. That was my week in Yu-Gi-Oh. So, my week. Um, I'm having quite a lot of fun with uh, my current deck, which is Dogmatica Ritual. Um, 
It just doesn't lose to decks that rely on the extra deck um, because I send half of it to Grave before they've even started and it's unaffected by the half that's left. Um, so that's real fun. <laughs> I yeah. do very much enjoy that. I looked over at Kurt and it was like a 50-50 choice of... Uh, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah he, so when I was messing Kurt today, I would got him down to two cards left in his extra deck and then I was like, I'll use the effect of Albazoa. You get to keep one of them. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't it. just Maximus send two? No, I'd already gone through that. Like, this uh, was, like, quite late in the piece. Okay. A lot of the rest of it had been sent. He'd already used his two shufflers to put some back. Like, yeah. it was, yeah. It, was, it wasn't pretty for Kurt. Kurt wasn't having fun. He worked out, eventually, that the field spell was really his only out. Um, but even then, um, I can summon it back with the ritual spell. So I just put it back on the board and started doing the things. Um... Yeah, the, the the main deck that I'm actually having issues with is Gold Pride because it doesn't rely on the extra deck to win. Gold Pride, <laughs> Gold Pride, baby. It's very annoying. I don't like it. Um, so that's uh, it, that's just it's just a super weird deck. I really like it, but it's got a lot of different things it can do. Yeah. Um, like it is a bit of a pain that it has to rely on punk stuff to like get you through the deck, get you on no, more life points. Just and play stuff other like cards. That. It's fine. I've got it all figured out. I'm not mm -hmm. playing punk. Are you going to play Garbage Lord? No. I wish Garbage Lord was going to play the Immortal <laughs> that pays 5,000 life points to start. Ah, itself. even worse. It's okay. Is then it? we can play other cards. It's like Burning Abyss. But you have to open the card that's only a 3 to be able to play. Whereas there's lots uh, of fun cards. There's other cards you can do. We all play in Droll the rest of this format. <coughs> it's in my side. Yeah, I probably just side it. I don't know. I don't know. The meta hasn't been clearly defined at the moment. And also, like, my deck, eh. Yeah, it's like, I like, don't know. Let, let them summon as much as they like from the extra deck, and then I'm just going to plonk a fucking 4k blue boy on board. I'm yeah. just going to play 3-axis gold pride. 3-axis? So, remember 3-axis burning abyss? No. Okay, well, don't worry, dude. <laughs> don't worry. What's I'm just going to... If, if you guys played 3-axis burning abyss, I'm going to do that, but I'm going to put gold pride in it. How do you bring your life points down, then? Well, you see, you still just use the burning yeah, cards. Burning. You mill, you mill uh, Destrudo, which is at three, or you e Telly into the shitty Wait, gold Is Destrudo at three? I'm pretty sure it's only at one. I don't know. <laughs> Where, whatever it is, you mill it. Okay, then you summon it to the board, pay half your life. You're going so far out of your way to not use what is clearly the best current engine for Gold Pride. No, it's not. Because if you play Punk, you don't get to play Gold Pride. You do get to play Gold Pride. Okay, Jake. Hypothetical question here. So, how many times have you played against Gold Pride Punk? Distributors on one. Three. That is a three. There you you played against them three times? Yes. How many times have they used a Gold Pride card against you? All of them. Huh. We've had very different experiences playing against Gold Pride Punk. I never ever see a Gold Pride card, and whenever I see a Gold Pride card play against me, I've won. <laughs> oh, uh... No, because you got the trap that like does a control and then yeah, the steal yeah. one. Like. That's not that bad. It's okay. You didn't see those? No, I've seen that come against me. It didn't matter. Oh. Yeah. Wow. My Must be nice. nice. Man's just good. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with Dogmaker Ritual. I'll probably make some tweaks. Uh, there will be a profile coming very soon. Oh, yeah. Uh, my current progress. So uh, stay tuned for that. Is, that, is that the build today? Yeah. Yeah, nice. So uh, moving into some news. We What's three axes burning a bit? It's where you just play, like, a bunch of random-ass fucking three extenders that go through your link climbs and shit. Oh, because I... Oh, sure. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. I must have missed the memo. It's... You You play Monster Dominant threes that spam. You used to play Sekers Light. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Yep, yep, yep. You just replaced... Yeah, I, I ignored that when Sekers Light was out, that was where uh... I was like, this does not exist to me anymore. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, we start with Master Duel. Uh, so, unsurprisingly, after WCQ had happened and people had done the thing, they released a ban list. Uh, it's odd, um, as we partially highlighted. Uh, so, forbidden cards, we have Cyberstein, Smoke Grenade of the Thief, and Terraforming. <laughs> Terraforming's weird, generic card, like, sure, it's helping Terraforming quite a bit, but, like, other decks kind of need their field spells to function at all. Um, so it's a bit rough for them. Uh, yes. Cyberstein, good. Cards fucked. Should have gone anyway. Could run Cyberstein. Mm. 
Could have had subs done. Mm. It's not banned. Oh, wait. Did it get banned in our one? It's getting banned, mm. yeah. <laughs> huh. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, I remember that now. Yeah, it got yeah. banned to stop Super Heavy Samurai FTK. Yes. And Gold Pride, apparently. So then they went and hit another Super Heavy Samurai card. Um, and, yeah, Smoke Grenades. Smoke, smoke Grenades shouldn't have been there for a long time. Um, and Emancipated were just using it. Sunstein's to... also a level three. Ah, so happy three axis burning abyss loses another piece. <laughs> They're just trying to hurt the gold pride. Um, <laughs> Five thousand cards for a bloody rank three. <laughs> so, uh, newly limited, we have uh, three of the four uh, Shizu fairies: Agido, Keldo, and Mudora. So mm -hmm. we get two of the hand trappy dude, but only one of the others. I like that ratio. Isn't it? That's a good call. It's not a terrible ratio. Yeah. It's just the ratio. Less shufflers, the better. Well, at the very least, it's the ratio that we're now having to play if we want to play them at all. Yes. Because <laughs> the playing list says so. Uh, newly semi-limited. Uh, we have uh, Sprite Blue going from 3 to 2, and Gisu Orchestra the Mech Knight going from 1 to 2. Congratulations, Jake. How does that feel? It feels nice. Good. Because, yeah, opening the one-off was, like, real pog. Do we and... ever have good Orcus times in... At the start of Master Jewel? Not really. Yeah, it was kind of... And it's only going to get worse from here, because once a Rise Heart comes out, the deck is effectively dead. Yeah. It's okay, Jake. A Rise Heart will come out at 1. It probably will. With Unicorn <laughs> at 1. <laughs> it probably will. Uh, so but... all its relevant cards still be at 3. <laughs> oh, sorry, there's more on Semi-Limited. Sorry, I assume these cards were coming to 3, but they're not. Uh, Cyber Angel Ben 10, Nadir's Servant, and Metaverse. Oh. Also being Semi-Limited. You get 1, we take away the Ardor. I mean, Metaverse doesn't do anything now anyway, right? Yeah. There's no, there's no floodgate fill spells, right? Oh. Yeah, you can activate um, 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 the one that does the thing. The one, mm. yeah. fire prison. Yeah. Ah, fantastic! Stay with the heaven, baby. Ah, uh, so yeah, as maybe the three, they're doing the decrafting bonus. So yeah, by all means, don't decraft your terraformings just yet. Um. But in addition to this, they didn't feel this was enough to uh, address the upcoming meta. So this with the incoming dumb. pack, um, which uh, name I cannot remember, it's something abyssal, because um, we're getting the uh, Lebellion package, Cartesia, it's and a uh, abyss actors as well. Yeah. Um, they huh. are going to be uh, limiting uh, Magnemut and Jewel Splint upon release. Saranir dominance. Pretty much, eh? This is so <laughs> stupid. Just want to point this out. This is so dumb. The nice thing about this is um, the High Spirits package is now live. Oh. Yeah. That's something. So dumb, though. Well, yeah. that they're bringing the tier cards at two and the um, best deals at one. Yeah. It's a bit dog. Wait. You clearly have a best deck at the moment, which is everywhere and doing everything. Yeah. Yes. Let's just limit the counters. It's, yeah, like, I understand the idea that they have that they want to make it as close to, like, the current game as possible to an extent or make it, like, as much as in the OCG as it was. But it does just mean that Tier Element just stays the best deck and, like, you're basically just throwing crumbs to the other decks. It's just like, well, here's uh, three potential monsters uh, that maybe you'll draw, uh, but likely that you won't. So yeah. don't decraft your Diddy Crows just yet because they will be important. Oh, yeah, I should craft Diddy Crows. It's just more reasons to come in and not play Master Door. I only just... Oh, well, I'll get into that in a second anyway. Um, so yeah, that all comes into effect as of the 8th. Uh, the new pack, the ban list, and the ban list uh, extension. Um, so yeah, I can't imagine a big shift, to be honest. Like... Maybe more people will pitch to Brandon High Spirits build to play around the bestials that people won't open. Um, I wonder if we get the rank six as well, the um, big zombie dude. Probably. I hope so. Oh, yeah. He's quite cool. And I wonder if we'll get Garuga. Yeah, we'll do Garuga, aren't we? Garuga. Oh, uh, yeah. Nah, just. I'm happy for us to just not get that card until <laughs> Trellements gets banned. <laughs> so, not give them another piece. Can I be like, oh, actually, he's Gurura. Also, we unbanned some more things for you. Uh, so also happening in Master Duel up until Monday, uh, they've got the tryouts uh, starting up again. 
Uh, this one is double deck, so basically you go in, you craft a deck for going first, you craft a deck for going I second. This came out. That's what I'm saying. It oh, I thought in. you said it comes out next soon. No, no, no. It finishes Monday. So by the time you okay. hear about this, it's already over. Do apologize. But the concept of it was that you build a deck <laughs> for going first and you build a deck for going second, and depending on the coin toss is what deck you used. When this was announced, I thought it was an excellent idea. I was like, okay, so you don't lose just by getting the choice of like going first or going second and then like your deck's built for X and Y. It was you an get to line, choose. So I thought it was. The problem with it is that we're in tier format, and if you're going second in tier format, most of the time you're going to lose. <laughs> like, you have to open shifter or you just lose. So I went in, I built my going second deck, I built um, mech knights with like board clearances and kaijus and all that shit, and I just couldn't even be bothered trying to play out the turns. I just saw my opponent who, lo and behold, was playing Tyr Element. They opened the field spell almost every fucking time, and I was like, I'm not playing this. We had very different experiences in this did. event. We did. Yeah. So I was... My going first deck was an FTK. It was a gym FTK. Shock. Yeah, I'm... Shock, I'm shock disbelief. Horror. I can't believe it. My going second Egan. deck was just fucking blind second to element with like three evenly, a bunch of hand traps... And I was like, see, I didn't want to go in with a, like two different versions of Tier Element. Effectively, I could have very easily done that. I had all the cards available to me to do that. I just didn't see the appeal in doing so. So, I still found that like my opponent, like every time I went second, I won because my opponents were also playing FTK. Started playing, realized they didn't have FTK, and just scooped. And I was like, ah. Oh. See, I was just versing Tier Elements going first. That's the only deck that anyone else played and yeah like I opened the cards that I'd put in to out the board like fucking Gamseal Lightning Storms and all that shit yep. and, um, and I think a Didi Crow at one point that, I think that got called by which was annoying um, no sorry he went terraforming for no yeah terraforming for the field spell I ashed it and then he triple tactics the crow out of my hand and then just summoned Rhino and I was like ah fantastic <laughs> Um, so but yeah, um, so yeah, as per normal tryouts, uh, you win three of the things and then you get a pack. Uh, my pack was highlighted yellow, but I didn't get any supers. <laughs> oh, I got an ultra and then I jumped it. What happened to Ben Ben? No, I felt, felt bad. There's a couple of cards I've been like waiting out, going, oh, I hope something happens on the list with these so I can get good dust. No. Dust that motherfucker. Yeah. Three um, more years of Trillment. <laughs> I wonder how much longer they'll actually keep it around. It is uh, an interesting question. Sure, they'll have to catch this done. Uh, yeah, because they they won't. They'll they'll, they'll want to push them the manamadiums. The oh, those are so far away though. I need to sell my. Yeah, so they'll be gone by then. <laughs> is that Rimbrum Ultra like worth money? I have like heaps. It seems it seemingly is the only Ultra I can pull from this set is the Rimbrum Ultra. Oh, like in the physical game. Yeah. Oh, uh, no. Ah, that's okay. This is so I barely sad. used mine. I thought, like, again, from watching the combo videos and stuff when it first released, everyone was summoning it using the Serenity, blah, 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 blah. I, like, can never use it. It comes up. I know now how to beat Cash Tira if I open Brand Infusion. It doesn't no, get no, asked. No, 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 no. The Rimbrum Ultra regular monster for Manadium. It's not called Rimbrum. I swear it is. Is it not Manadium Rimbrum? No. Rimbrum's the fucking. <laughs> Jesus What's it Christ. called then? <laughs> I don't know. Something exactly. Else. I'm closer than you are. Wait. Is well, it no, because it's... No, no, some, I'm saying a name. Because it's not. something heart. Because they're all something heart. It's, it's room heart. No. Uh, uh, <laughs> he's deep his heart, he just wants to room. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was going to come up too. Anyway, um, moving right along. Um, so as we announced a little while back, they are bringing in the master rank into Master Duel. Uh, so it will be the rank above uh, Diamond. Um, so in order to get there, um, you have to play Tyr Element. Well, well, yeah, that's a given. Um, it doesn't say how many wins and stuff, but apparently like that's kind of changed now. Uh, where did it say it? Um, so you are no longer demoted for losing matches in gold rank. Uh, but you need more wins in gold rank in order to go to platinum. Oh, I'm fucked. Uh, and that's now funny. platinum needs more losses in order to be demoted oh yeah all right sure that makes sense sure yeah, it's all kind of cool um and yeah it's the big lion head thingy 
Um, it's gold. For a little while there, because they um, integrated... What's its name? Oh, Rimheart. Is it is Rimheart. <laughs> it's Rimheart. That's close enough. So you got a million of those. Because isn't Visa's better than this? Oh, I, got a bunch I mean, of that. you use both, but yeah. Yeah, look, I well, I, I went to... I was looking at them and I'm like, eh, this is, seems like... Hear me, Adam. This seems like dinosaurs will just do this, but better. Yeah. Yeah. Normal summon OV for combo? No. <laughs> uh, yeah, that pretty much sums us up on Master Duel for the moment. Um, oh, I suppose, um, yeah, just briefly on the uh, WCQ, I think the winner had like 74,000 points. Um, How many do you I, have? About 9,000. That was close. Yeah. I barely got to play because I had this perception in my head that it would go for like a week in the um, second thing. It went for like three days. It went for a week. End. Was there a player list of those people that topped? Or did they play off? I, no. no. So it's top three go through. It's, yeah, oh, the, that's so. There's so yeah. many people well, that it's, close it's, it's, a, it's a regional thing. Oh, so okay. the first person of their region then yeah. picks another two people from their region to then go to the. WCQ. Oh, the yeah, World Championship, I should say. Was there uh, I mean I saw Bowden on it. Was there He came like ninth. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Um I think Joshua Schmidt from um is from that region. Oh, so okay. he gets to choose. So some I think people. he came second. He did. Region Ben. The leaderboard was everybody. Yeah. So oh, the leader's America. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. yeah. So if I wonder I wonder the uh, participants will be. That'd be kind of cool. It'll be nice to that. see how they actually do the stream as well. Mm. Like whether they'll just have one central stream and they'll just like randomly cut to either Master Duel or um, everything else, or whether they'll have like kind of like what Pokemon does, how they have like the separate streams. Yeah, yeah. it'd be cool if they did like a KO setup where like you had like a little mini screen yeah, of what's yeah. going on on one thing and the big screen of the other one. Uh, KO is um, our sports streaming. Yeah, main thing. It, what Jake is describing is a thing called picture in picture. Yeah, which I mean, well, that's not available on YouTube currently. And of, I don't even Cable's know. been doing it for ages too. Yeah. Yeah, Americans have had picture in picture for. They took months. picture in picture away off this app as well. I'm pretty. They what? Pissed. Yeah, this this. I was like, one of the only benefits of this, other than it owning all the sports. Why oh, do no, you no, think no. we have two TVs? No, other, other, other <laughs> yeah, apps. Just have two televisions. Yeah, that's just have two TVs. Uh, yeah, this isn't a problem for us. We can watch one stream and the other. Other Actually, apps can do it. You know what? Like, we'll just be there. <laughs> Sorry. As in, like, uh, on a Samsung, he might be able to do it. But the one on that on that Chromecast doesn't do it anymore. Oh, that's I hate garbage. you, either Google or uh, News Limited. News Corp Limited. It's News Limited. Oh, sorry. Before I move on from Master Duel, there is one other thing. Um, we have a new solo mode, uh, which is S-Force, and it's fucking terrible. Is it worth us doing it? I mean, if you want some gems, yes. Yeah. Uh, for anything else, no. Uh, the gonna... archetype is fucking horrendous. It is. <laughs> and it's also not one that I particularly wanted to know any more about. It's really trash. There's so many other archetypes that I'd like a little bit of lore and um, some cool It photos. doesn't give any lore. Oh, really? L literally. So We're an it's... S-Force. Yeah. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> You get in, and it's got like the like main starter talking to you as if you're on the team, and oh. it's like, oh, this guy did this, and we bought the same necklace from like the merchandise shop that's that's that we have here at the S Force base. Yeah, uh, this is our boss. He never takes his suit off. Oh. Uh, this is our other boss. She's a bitch. Don't get her angry. Um, <laughs> she takes her suit off. It's so fucking bad. For for thematics of lore, because you have to play your own deck to get the gems, I played Time Thieves against it. I fucking demolished it. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Time Thief. It's just ah, I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so fucking tragic. Uh, and the, like the things you get, like the assets aren't even good. Like these, the fucking that looks like a super heavy samurai. Guy. It does. It's like and it's a three because it's bad. <laughs> Is there any S Force fans in the chat? Let me know. Let me know. So fucking tragic. Anyway, go to the moving... S Force channel on our Discord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not there. No. <laughs> oh dear. Ah, so moving on to the TCG, and we start with the Wild Survivor, 
uh, set that released uh, this week, but we haven't gotten a store because the distributors in Australia are garbage. Uh, we <laughs> have... Well, they are. Only one of the distributors in Australia is garbage, and it's the one we buy. Is from. this guy the main guy? No. All right, cool. If your main guy was named Orifist, I'd be concerned. <laughs> anyway, uh, so we have the collector's rares. Uh, all Rium <laughs> heart. Anyway, uh, we have the collector's rares announced for Wild Survivors. Uh, so we get uh, <laughs> one, two, three, uh, four, five for Dinos. Oh, so yeah, Dino's got all the collector's rares because they got okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. This right. is, I think I said oh this on. God. I either said this out loud in company or on the podcast oh, wait, last but... week that they gave all of the um, ultras, Vanquish Souls ultras, yes. and they're just going to gouge the dinos for like the shiny cards. Yeah. But That's some okay. of the, some of those old staples because it should be yeah, three. It's, it should it's be Fossil Dig, OV, oh, okay. um, Fossil Dig, OV Raptor, UCT, UCT. Yeah. Zeno, yeah, yeah, Zeno dude. Because it should be three Asuka. collectors from each new archetype. It's not. It really isn't. That's yeah, so I'll go through them. So we got Xenometeorus, yep. uh, UCT, Soul yep. Evening Over Raptor, Vanquish Soul, Soul Raisin, yep. Vanquish Soul, Heavy Borger, Vanquish Soul, Dr. Mad Love, Vanquish Soul, Caesar Valius, Stake Your Soul. Four? Stake Your Soul. Five. For collectors? Five. Five collectors. Five. Five dino collectors. And if you include a generic card, Tanky. Oh, yeah. Because it searches the starter. It's not all thing. Get out of here. Uh, and oh. then, uh, what is left, because uh, we've also got the Anima Dawn, Archosaur, Archosaur. and yeah. Fossil D. Yeah. Uh, Tikaboo, because yep. they always do a floodgate in uh, Collector's Rare. Uh, and then the Ritual Archetype gets uh, Neuville Restaurant at Table, and, and Chef's Special Recipe, and Hungry Burger. Yeah. Tres. Yeah, so that's missing. Well, it is a joke archetype, so like, it doesn't really deserve the collector's race. It's okay. It's not the worst archetype running around, it's just not the best. Play it then. I mean, if it's cheap, I will. Actually, it will be cheap. It it's will like be cheap. An ultra. It's gonna cost you like 20 bucks. <laughs> Perfect. Well, it depends on the joint. Like, if it's a, if it's a Mac, it's all cheap. It's classy and French, but. Can we all come dressed yeah, up? Yeah, we are at. Oh the, yeah, uh, at tablet. Yeah, did you see like the video today with the the burger flipper, like with the like bur bought a spatula to flip the cards. I thought it was face down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah they've got a spatula and they go ta. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. So a spatula and a bull disc. My hungry burger destroys it. Brings out a big chef cleaver. <laughs> yes, <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, Dino players are getting gouged. Uh, Vanquish Soul. Uh, I hope uh, you weren't excited uh, for it. Legitimately like gouged. Like Dino's like, oh, all this stuff is cheap as chips. But that's the thing. Except, all the I mean, main obviously... deck stuff is fine. They already had all their other shit. It's just if you want to play the nicest rarity available, you have to buy the collectors. In which case, people are going to like ask big money. So, will the spell? Because the spell is really good. And ultras in good ultras in these sets are generally worth a fair bit of money. The dino How, spell is the most expensive in the set. Yes. Yeah. So, but is there going to be more people chasing it? So then we get cheaper um, VS, or will it be just will it just come I, down? I Honestly, think it's just going to be a dead set where no one opens the sealed because the sealed is so shit to open yeah. that all the cards are just going to be expensive because there's not a lot of circulation, and it's just not going to be that good. And it sucks because um, I like VS I like is them. like a cool archetype. Yeah. I don't mind it. It's not worth six hundred dollars. <laughs> no, it's a solid three hundred dollar archetype. Yeah, yeah. All right, come on, come on. Know your market, please. For the love of God. Well, or, or know your market and know that you can just put collector rares or dinosaurs in this, and it's just going to sell all fine. And who cares what you did for the rest? Mm. True. Very give true. me hungry burger. Uh, so, we move on to the Animation Chronicle yet again, and we have support for... What's it called again? Gradius. Oh, wait. I thought this was a Photon card. I mean, it it's, it's kind of both. I mean, yeah, it is technically Photon Delta Wing, but it is a level 4 light machine monster. Ah. Uh, so, Does uh, it become level 8? No. Good. Well, summon's another one, though. So, if this card is normal summoned, you can special summon a Photon Delta Wing from your hand or deck in defense position, but you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn except light. Uh, and your opponent cannot declare attacks while you control another Photon Delta Wing. Nice little extent. So, wait, wait. Is it a one card soft lock? Yes. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, cool. it is one card Duke Frog Lock. Yes. That's neat. 
it's gonna be really, really funny to watch people play this card in their crooked cook decks. Uh no, you're locked into light types, and crooked no, but cook is fine. You just lock your opponent for a turn. It's fine. It does the same thing. Your opponent can't attack. It's not unaffected, yeah. but your opponent can't attack. Correct, yeah. Like, there is a difference between, haha, you can't attack and, oh no, I've been dark hold. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> yeah, like we do where you get the advantage if they destroy it. This is a bit <laughs> weirder. <laughs> no, you don't. You can... It misses you can, I was going to say, you can think that you get advantage, yeah, but... If you, if you dark hold them, do well, you get it. No, that's just... That's a fictional thing you've made up in your head. That doesn't happen. You never actually resolve Duprog. It is not there for resolution. Yeah. I used to a long time. It's not there to be resolved. <laughs> when Smashing Ground was being played, I resolved Duprox. It reads <laughs> it reads when if, uh, but uh, it actually says never. Yeah, just it's yeah, actually just, just vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we also have in the uh, animation chronicle the newest extra deck rip card, uh, which is number one, Infection oh, Bal Zabul. This is so dumb. Actually, in English, it's Infection Buzz King, which sounds so much worse. And this is Zaxel's problem, or zeal, for the culture. Um, it's just too... Like, why? Is that how it's meant to be pronounced? Is it not Zaxel? It's Zaxel for us. Um, it's just... It, it's just overly complicated for no reason. It's just not interesting. And it's just, oh, no, we're doing this now. Oh, they're fake numbers. It's just... I don't care. We ran out of numbers. Because we said there was this finite amount of numbers real numbers though just keep going just go to I was going to say did they ever actually say like what the end number of numbers 603 yeah, yeah when they do. Uh, in season 2 episode uh, you were talking episode abso- 6 you were talking absolute nonsense I'm going to clarify this and I'm going to call you out in the next no. podcast so uh, this one on summon but that uh, character could the be lying deck. oh true yeah he didn't say that there were real where's numbers where's number 620 why 620? Uh-oh. I mean, 420 was right there. Look, I was going for the stitch one, and then I ended up... <laughs> so, on it's summon, uh, takes a card out of the extra deck. Uh, it's only one, so it's already worse than Dogmatica. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, detach one, uh, destroy a card in the field, and if it was a face-up monster, you inflict damage. And then during the standby phase, you can equip corn. a card from your opponent's graveyard to it's it. Corn. That is all it does. Uh, it's also level 8, so it's oh, not okay. usable in Kashtira, so everything's fine. Um, yeah. I saw a level 8, I saw a Hope Harbinger today. Gold Pride. Gold Pride, yeah. Mm. That card caused me issues. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I like a ritual spell. That's where you got to play 6 spells. I, I, wait, how many spells did I have in it? I had five spells in my hand. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> two of them were Lightning Storm, and I had a fucking token on my board, so two of them were dead. Yeah, my my, my friend was still hanging out, and he was, yeah, summoning in... Oh, just, it was all in defense modes. You'd play a couple cards to um, to try and force and change positions, and then... Oh, now the monsters are in attack, but now I've got a fucking face up. Lightning Storm sucks. Why do they even hit it? Un- uh, unlimited, Not bad. Unlimited Harpies. Uh, Maybe the water supply are geeky. Maybe. They, like, it is a three. Re- they really want it. It's like, no. Why are you guys playing? Why aren't you playing Lightning Storm for? There's a yeah. perfectly good Regeki right here. Honestly, to play oh, around no, that exact problem, I'm going to <laughs> play either Dark Hole or Regeki. I'll put Twin Twisters in. Play the Regeki. The Regeki. Yeah. Twin Twisters in the uh, non-stack. <laughs> You twin Stryker. twisters, discard your ray. Yeah. I don't know. Then linkage. So good. The card is a little bonkers. It's so good. I think I'm gonna scale my strike action. My my, my, strike, <laughs> my strike, strike. Every every day we do this, you have at least one moment where you just get stuck. <laughs> do you have problems with me having a stutter, Jake? It's not a stutter because that only happens once every week. Yeah, that's a stutter. It happens that's quite a, a lot. That's a small aneurysm. It's oh, yeah, I mean, I have it all the time. My brain just goes, oh, yeah, you're not thinking anymore. <laughs> and well, off. Yeah. <laughs> so, right. I'm at the critical mass. If I eat one more marshmallow, I'm going to feel yucky. <laughs> so, moving on to our Discord, if you weren't aware. Nothing like Tommy. Just stop. one more is the state pass guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Mr. Poppin' Fresh. <laughs> is it Poppin' Fresh or Poppin' Fresh? I think it's Poppin' Fresh. Yeah. It's Powerpuff Girls, Jake. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Anyway, as I was saying... Cancelled! The, the live action adaption. I know, it looked terrible. Anyway... It, it's not that hard to write it, people. It really isn't. <laughs> well, the problem is they cast fucking 23-year-olds as what is meant to be the fucking Powerpuff Girls. It's dumb. Just I thought Jake was going to get racial with this for a second. I was like, no! What the fuck is wrong with you? Why would I, Why would you think I would go there? Don't answer that. Just Moving on to our Discord. If you weren't aware, link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. About Powerpuff Girls. Don't you dare. First question comes to us from 6 r 6 uh, what do you find is the biggest downside to selling cards through eBay and Facebook? Is it tie kickers? Uh, the admin effort, <laughs> the admin effort on postage, low ballers, or other? I respect low ballers. I need I to don't. sell some cards on Facebook. I'm gonna do a big sell. <sighs> I have a bunch of decks that I'm like don't need. If you if you want, but you said never sell. You said hold. Nah, sell Sky but you, Striker. But you didn't sell. Hold. Sell. What else I, was I going to sell? He's Live got, Twin. He's got good rarity Sky Striker though. So, yeah, yeah you probably should sell it. Yeah. Sell Live Twin. You want to buy Live Twin? Buy my Live Twin. Um, Poor Live Twin. He's he's going to keep just... He's going to sell like all Sky Striker like, copies. My... He's going to sell Pearly. Yeah. Well, Definitely. Yeah. Lucky you didn't buy that. No. I almost bought Pearly. I mean, I did say from the start that the deck wasn't good. And oh. then they thought it was going to be good. And they said, no. <laughs> Who would have thought putting him on a diet was going to oh, was going to hit? <laughs> I'd um, like that me so uh, much. What was the question? Most annoying thing about the most annoying thing about selling cards on eBay and Facebook? Um, I would say it's probably the um, having to post. Um, yeah, especially when you have a full time job, it is difficult sometimes to actually get to a post office to yeah. one buy the envelopes and then b send them. Yes, it is very annoying. Yeah, and you've got to kind of buy in if you want to get all those pre stamped envelopes it's a little bit of a buy-in it's not buy crazy in. yeah it's it's the way you should do it but it's still like a bit of an investment especially if you don't load them off as fast as you'd want to uh just yeah dealing with idiots also not getting like especially for the ebay route like yeah getting the money out of paypal or wherever it's transferred to can be annoying unless if you took now on ebay it's just direct bank bank deposit they don't do to people anymore oh really i don't think they own paypal anymore actually oh no yeah that split up a long time ago yeah, yeah. Oh, okay i didn't know they were going direct to bank yet because yeah. i've just i've stayed clear of selling for a while because i was taking like yeah i'd rather sell a marketplace because you also don't pay the fee yeah no fee but you can just mark up on ebay to cover the fee and generally you make between i don't mind low balls is when they carry on going walk and get it cheaper here it's like well fuck off then do that then <laughs> yeah like, okay. it's like no I, i'm trying to cover the fucking postage here because oh my god i'm so deep in these envelopes um the one thing i have to say is like i do a lot of auctioning um i just find it's the best way to like you're not setting a price and then people are lowballing you, you just actually sells. put it out there and people buy it if they want to buy it kind of thing yeah um the one thing I do find annoying is like having to chase people that have won an auction and just don't reply to you for ages. Mm -hmm. Like you send them two or three messages like, hey dude, I'm setting stuff out today. Can you send me some money? <laughs> yep. That's the thing See, that I find. Which is so annoying. weird because like I would I'd never be on a card on auction nights if I don't have the, if I'm not, if I'm not planning to send it right then there. Why do, why do KC auctions end at quarter past 10 now? Uh, daylight savings. Because you know, daylight savings only in just 15 minutes of the calendar. Time. I hate like, it so much. It's really dumb. Why isn't it? Well, but I'm I, also up until twelve, so it doesn't affect. I get steering adversely. clear. Of, I want to be in bed by ten. I get steering clear of um dinner, but ten, even ten was shit. Do it at quarter to nine. Yeah. Sure, I have my big dinner at quarter to nine, but that's that's not a good idea. Maybe then, maybe better deadlines would encourage me to eat better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start my own auction house. Yeah. With. You've said this a, a, a couple of times. With Backjack. Backjack. Yeah. And I can't Excavate. think of a Yu-Gi-Oh parallel to Hookers. Uh, Rimheart. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, Rimheart. Jesus Christ. Uh, next question comes to us again from Six Art Six. Uh, what is your favorite flavor text of all time? Uh, you can't copy someone else's. Or oh, whatever Cockroach Nights was. I don't think it's vanilla. It, yeah, it it's is. It's very much vanilla. Oh, no, it's, it's Neko Gal number two. 
It's not number two. It's number, number one. Ah, uh, sorry, I got it wrong. Would you like to regale us in the flavor text of Neko Gale number one? We'll get one? demonetized, Jake. Will we? Is that a demonetizable word? Maybe. It's not really good. Well, actually, they have updated the text. No, they haven't. They have. <laughs> Those... Update the text on the actual card, Jake. Well, they there's only one, the there's only one print, and the print still says what it says. I'm just saying here... Did you, on the did database. you search this card because you were going to say it as yours? No, no, because I knew someone was going to say it, and if it wasn't you, it was me. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, if you want a good read, uh, look up the original text of Neko Gal number one. Apparently, we can't say it here. Yeah, let's just not say it here. Uh, mine is, uh, without really needing to go too far into it, uh, Crusadia... No, Mech Knight Avram is what I should say. I think I said Dark Magician. I was like, the fuck no. You had it open on your screen, and I was like, this fucking son of a bitch. Because it's on the page of... He got like, to say cards. Dark Magician. Brag. Uh, I mean, Trent, which I've talked about before. I like Trent's one. Bean Soldier. A guardian of the woods, these massive trees... Sonic Duck's pretty funny, more... yeah. What? Sonic Duck. Yeah. Uh, yeah. For a second, I thought you meant Sonic Chicken. I was like, that is not a villain. Like Doot Frog. A duck which can walk at Sonic speed. Sometimes he cannot deal with the incredible pace, and he loses control. Imagine that, he's just walking down the street and you just hear this hypersonic duck go <laughs> This is Wario <laughs> <laughs> Next question, Jake Sonic Next duck. question I don't know if we have a next question When's Sonic Duck getting his own movie? Ah, uh, here we go, yes um, Great Bill's mouth does not look as big enough to just justify the text of nothing escapes a beast with its massive mouth so You're assuming that it's the size of a bird is it a platypus? Oh, okay, yeah, sure. It so might just be. It thing. might be just like a King Kong-sized fucking thing. But it's a platypus. It's not. It's just Great Bill. It's a, it's a platypus. A duck bill platypus. Yeah. Just a platypus. So I, we need a platypus up top. I find it dumb they call it a duck bill platypus, but like, what the fuck else would it be? I, I don't think they call it that. Americans call it a yeah. duck bill platypus. That's because Americans. <laughs> There's I don't know platypus. what our American. It's like koala bear. Is. It doesn't. There's not bears. Get out. It's koalas. It's like calling it a kangaroo rat. That's not... No. <laughs> That's kind of catchy, though. Why would we not get Des Platypus? Soon. Des Puss? Yeah, Des Puss. Where's Des Puss? <laughs> anyway, next question comes to us from Froguy. Uh, he was thinking about the ban list and some of the most pushed product ever let blue eyes of all time uh, win... Uh, yeah, let blue eyes of all things win worlds and be a top tier deck for a very short period of time. Not strictly true. Um, without ridiculously more power crept things... Why do you mean not strictly true? Sorry. Because it was only good for the world's format. Andrew topped a YCS with it. The very next YCS. Six months later. One deck does not make a meta deck mech. <laughs> I'll pay that, Jake. That was very insightful. Yep. No, it, it, they turned it out at Hope Harbor. They were alright. Blue Eyes is good. Did they even have Hope Harbor at that point? Yes. Yeah, Blue Eyes definitely... Yeah, is, it was in gold. Yeah. I, yeah. It came out gold study. I was hope harbingered by Blue Eyes at one point. I remember if I won or lost the match, but I remember that happened. And again, as much as I'm not, I'm, I'm definitely not disparaging Andrew's top. It does not mean that Blue Eyes was a T1 or even like T1.5 meta threat. It was just a good deck at the time. Should have been. Why have I not played Blue Eyes for Sunday Funday? Because it's fucking awful. Um, so. As his question goes, uh, without ridiculously more power crept things are now with... Oh, I think that's meant to say with. With, with, oh, no, with, with, yeah. without, without, without. No. Ni hao. Uh, <laughs> Blue Eyes flavor text sucks. What would it take for any of the nostalgia anime archetypes, uh, including GX5Ds, blah, 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 to become a T1 deck? Um, uh, for Blue Eyes and Dark Magician, a lack of hand traps. Um, a Dark Magician... I, uh, an eternal soul that doesn't nuke your own board if your opponent drops you. It is a bit of a ridiculous re restriction on that card. Giving DM um, a Verte, a Verte knockoff would be. Yeah. Giving Cybers a Cybers Kaiju. Oh God. That's on oh my. That's, here's a, the point: is when does Cybers become um, nostalgia? Hopefully soon. <laughs> <laughs> that anime came out eight years ago. <laughs> Wasn't that long ago? I'm not that far off. <laughs> so you know you're wrong, you just don't know how far It was off. 2017. Yeah, six, yeah. Yeah. It's been a long time. Yeah. 
Or, yeah, no, it's, been, it's been a long time. What else could you nostalgia? Like, tunes would probably do something crazy. Nah, no more tunes. You don't think so? There will absolutely be more tunes. I can the, almost guarantee There it. will be more tunes over time, but, no. like, tunes themselves are fundamentally flawed now. Because like, if just the mechanic it... itself is probably... Oh, yeah, it would have to... The only way you would do it is, like, it starts ignoring the mechanics. You give them, like, link monsters as tunes, and you can just link into something. Like, that's yeah. the only way. Because, like, yeah. You start making toon extra deck monsters as well. I think you just need to print more, like, more new tunes that are like the new tunes. Like, BLS, where it doesn't have this fucking summoning sickness. It doesn't die if Toon World leaves the field. Just like, make Toon Fusion be super poly, but include the grave as well. Toon Fusion for Toon Thousand Eyes Restrict. Oh, oh my god, a Chibi Thousand Eyes Restrict would be... Toon Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. <laughs> 4500 can't be targeted <laughs> what's um just surprised you didn't say your fucking parrot for your flavour text what is it what even is it I don't know I don't care about his text I care about it being a giant fucking parrot you could legitimately fuse for toon dragon master knight uh, a dragon from the cartoons is more dangerous than it appears to be is what the flavour text for I don't know, it looks pretty dangerous I mean, okay so that's that's a good argument against me where I'm like why would you want that it's more dangerous than it appears to be. Yes. He's it. It, it knows some shit. It knows time. It's got. <laughs> it knows jujitsu. It actually has. It knows the gun. <laughs> we. <laughs> as a relevant... seven and a half foot tall parrot. It just goes. Ah. ah. <laughs> as a relevant wrap to this conversation, we are legitimately getting some decent five uh, D support coming up in the next set. Oh my god. Um. And, and we're going to go into a stop. world... No, we're going into a world where everything is pretty hit and there's no clear T1 deck. We could maybe see something happen. Yeah. If, if, if there's going to be a time, well, actually, this is it. Well, actually, it's not a question, but I'm going to make it one now. What do we... Th oh, actually, no. Because the OCG gets a ban list before Worlds, which yes, will affect it will the... kick in for the 1st of July, okay. and that's the but Worlds ban list. Based on what is currently available, what do we think is going to potentially win Worlds? Fucking two. <laughs> 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 With two sets of ban lists, so... Well... That is unbanned here, just to um, Worlds. Well, surprise! <laughs> Shit, that's a good point. What... Uh, it's going to be Melfi. Yeah, because Pearly, they can't. Pearly is now fucked because of us. Yeah, but everything else is too. Oh, that's right. The card will be legal as well. Won't, uh, the new shit will be legal. Yes. Yeah, they won't have the new shit. Oh, what? It will be whatever's new for us. So yeah, 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 it'll yeah, probably yeah, be Duelist yeah. Nexus so, will be the final set. For yes. Us. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, but Duelist Nexus only comes in the week before. Striker? Three weeks before. Two weeks before? Isn't it late July? Yeah, but I think it's the second weekend of... A third weekend of July. Is the sneak peek at the very least? Yeah, it comes yeah, out... Yeah, the sneak peek doesn't include legality time. Ah, no, no, no. It's, it, it's, it should be legal like at the last day of July, I'm pretty sure. So it should be legal for... So it'll be legal for a week? Yes. But will they implement a ban list prior to Worlds based on what well, is currently available? Well, who's to say that the ban list, they'll keep doing the combined ones? Shouldn't they just do an independent ban list, announce it now, and just go... That would be fucked, though. Like, you're playing on two different things, and, and just go, someone's oh, like, this is... oh, wait, you're only, you're only supposed to have two of those. It's like, haha, my ban list is different, idiot. And also, the OCG would just play Maxi, and they would win everything. It's almost like we should be playing the same game. But it's impossible to do with the current release of product. Oh yeah, yeah, they have they they have to like rush, like they would have to rush out. Because, well, it's either they rush out or, or they stall, say yeah. that your this ban list will apply to you as of this date. In which case, the TCG will always have an inherent advantage because we'll have six months to work out exactly what's going on before we actually start playing it. Yeah, and which is not what the TCG likes to do because they like to just drop shit on us and be like, ha ha, your well, <laughs> gold pride won't be there. No gold pride. Damn. Dogmatica ritual. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Why not? It's your chance, Jake. It is back to three. Oh, shit. Any, any more questions, Jake? Yes. One last question from Zithonian. Uh, he was going through boxes at a shop. Oh, no. When going through boxes at a shop, if you find a card that were, was worth more than the 25 cents, 50 cents, whatever is in the box, would you say something? Or does it depend on the card, the price, or the shop? 
like, uh, tell has the shop this thing happened to you? Like, would yeah, would you tell the shop owner, oh, this is actually worth quite a bit more? If something's hilariously expensive, yes. So, also no. Let's also preface depends. If it's your locals, probably. If it's some fucking random place where you ain't got no responsibility to them and they ain't being nice to you, fuck them. <laughs> Buy it and sell it online. No on eBay. Buy it and sell it back to the store later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Legitimately? Yeah. Go for so, it. So, the closest instance I've had of this is not too long ago. Well, actually, it was a while ago now. Um, they had a beautiful princess in the 50 cent box um, before the reprint. So it was worth like ten dollars around the oh, time. Oh, the that, rare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, which I picked up for fifty cents. Um, I did highlight this to Jabe at some point, our store owner, and he said, "Oh yeah, the card just wasn't moving, so I'll put it in there in the hopes that someone will buy." Yeah, it. I figured Jabe was um, doing that type of stuff. That makes sense. Yeah, occasionally there's just some goodies in there if you want to be bothered looking through the dollar box. I think this was back when Pat owned the store when I used to like randomly wander in on like random days just to be like, "Hey." What have you got in your shitty little bulk thing and your little binder you haven't updated and it's weirdly a bunch of just like shitty oh, he, Duelist that, League rares? That hidden, yeah, that hit, yeah, the Duelist League rares and the Hidden Arsenal stuff. Yeah, uh, and I think he had the uh, the three video game promos from the 3DS game. Shit. And I was like, I will take those. <laughs> <laughs> now I have two play sets of, two play sets of that. I am a third play set. Yeah. Uh, also, the Brisbane um, Brisbane States was on yesterday. Yes. Um, unfortunately, the boys from our chat did not uh, get to the tops. Unfortunately. Yeah. Some four getting around. Some sucky top decks and things. Um, but yeah. yeah. Hope cool. you guys had fun. Yeah. At the very least. We'll see you. At WCQ. I was going to say Worlds. <laughs> also well, start with might. W. See you come worlds, come worlds. See you at Worshianics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wolfshanic WCQ uh, But that does conclude us for today Thank you all very much for listening and watching If you are on Spotify or your streaming service Feel free to favourite If you are watching on YouTube Please like and subscribe Jump into our Discord Ask us some questions for next week And we will catch you all then Peace